I was told a lot about the differences in culture between the Air Force and civilian, the civilian sector when I retired, uh, a lot of which I didn't find to be true. Everyone told me, when you retire from the Air Force, you won't find the same camaraderie, uh, you won't find the same spirit of teamwork that I had in the military. Now, to be clear, that was clearly superior in the military and in the Air Force. Um, you know, I would die for my, you know, my, my wingman. But when I came to industry, when I, and in this case a nonprofit, uh, I have found similar uh, reaction. I've found a similar environment where people come to work, they really want to do their best, People work together as a team. There is camaraderie. Uh, folks get along well. There's a lot of spirit. Uh, and so the differences in uh, camaraderie or the differences that I feel as a team are stronger in the civilian uh, world, at least in a nonprofit, than I expected. Uh, the bigger issue, though, I think, in the transition between military and the civilian world is there is life after the Air Force. Uh, and what I encourage people now is they ought not worry about it. I, I stressed over it. Um, as you know, I spent 44 years in the Air Force. Uh, I joined the Air Force when I had just barely turned 18. Uh, and so I've spent my entire, literally, my entire adult life in the Air Force. Uh, and so there was some anxiety there about, not only for me, but for my wife and for my family as well, because we'd always had our Air Force. We'd always had this support system. We'd always had the security blanket. Uh, but when I stepped out of the Air Force, uh, I actually found I enjoyed it. First, the first thing that hit me was, I've got a blank slate now. Um, I can do an, anything I want. I can be anything I want to be. Uh, and that was exciting for me, to, to sit down and think about what is it that I really want to do? What is it that I want to be? Um, you know, where do I want to live? How much money do I want to make? Um, you know, do I want to travel or not want to travel? See, th these are things that were dictated to me in the Air Force. And so I, I quite, quite frankly found the, uh, the freedom, if you will, uh, to make those choices for myself uh, somewhat uh, enlightening and, and somewhat uh, freeing uh, because I, I can make the call on what I do and where I go. I try to emphasize that folks who are either stepping out in retirement or stepping out of the Air Force at any point in their career, don't be afraid of it. Uh, embrace it. Uh, because, again, there is life after the Air Force. And so uh, I have found the transition to be relatively easy, relatively smooth, and one I've actually enjoyed.